Hi, and welcome to the March 2021 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. In the morning sky on the 5th, Mercury and Jupiter are less than the moon's diameter apart. You can see them low above the east-southeast horizon an hour before sunrise, along with the planet Saturn. On the 9th, Mercury has moved away from Jupiter after reaching its greatest elongation west of the Sun on the 6th. Above Jupiter and towards the southeast, the 25-day-old waning crescent moon is about 7 degrees from Saturn. On the 10th, the moon moves closer to the horizon and is separated about 7 degrees from Jupiter. The morning sky is filled with constellations you normally see during early summer evenings. We'll highlight one of these constellations. Look to the south-southeast for the reddish star Antares in Scorpius the Scorpion. You can see the shape of the scorpion by drawing lines between the stars from its head above Antares and following the curve of stars down to the double stars of its stinger. In the evening sky, Orion the Hunter, which was high in the south last month, has moved over to the southwest along with Canis Manger, the great dog. It's not too late to see them. Here's a picture I took last month with Orion while it was high in the southwest in the trees. Orion is followed by Canis Manger with Sirius, its brightest star. This picture of Sirius was taken through a telescope by our telescope demonstrator, Anthony Perkick. On the 18th, the five-day-old waxing crescent moon and Mars are in the southwest above the fading twilight. They are in the constellation of Taurus the Bull. The moon is located about 5 degrees from the beautiful Pleiades star cluster and 7 degrees from Mars, while the orange star Aldebaran, the eye of the bull, is about 7 degrees from Mars. On the 14th, we spring forward one hour into daylight saving time. The time change will mean sunset occurs an hour later than the previous day. This means that we'll gain daylight in the evening. The spring equinox occurs on the 20th. At the time of the equinox, the sun is located exactly on the intersection of the celestial equator, the Earth's equator projected into the sky, the sun's path, the ecliptic, and the zero right ascension line or longitude in the sky. From Los Angeles, the sun is 56 degrees above due south at local noon. The equinox marks the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere and the start of autumn in the southern hemisphere. With the arrival of spring and blue skies, here are the moon phases for this month. Last quarter is the 5th, new is the 13th, first quarter is the 21st, and full moon is the 28th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio.